Good morning, grade twos. We're going to continue in math talking about multiplying. And if you remember from last lesson, we said that multiplying, we can use the symbol, the X, when we have groups that are the same in each group. Now, where did the idea of multiplying come from? Well, if you look at plants, maybe you look at plants in your mom's garden, that you will notice there are plants that multiply each year. They get more and more. Sometimes, same with animals. Animals have bees, so a dog might have um, a litter of six pups, and then the next time they might have another six pups. So we can multiply because they keep growing. That's how they keep having more, so that we keep having dogs, we keep having cats, our plants keep growing, okay? So in math, Quantities are multiplied in equal groups. We can double something. Maybe when you're baking with mom or dad, you can double the recipe. So you make twice as many. So you, instead of six cookies, you're gonna get 12 cookies because you're gonna get two groups of six or tripled or quadrupled if we do it times four. So I have two counters here. And what if I wanna multiply that by four? Well, that means I need to add some more groups. There's my second group. Here's my third group, and now here's my fourth group. So I can do now two times four. Two in each group times four groups equals, well, let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. So two times four is eight, okay? Okay, now I want you to think about your head, okay? Sometimes you might hear your mom say, oh, I wish I could multiply my hands, meaning maybe you have a whole bunch of bags. When you come back to school and you have to bring all your book back, you're gonna maybe say, I wish I could have some more hands. I could multiply my hands. So let's talk about our body parts and what we could multiply. So I have a question. How many heads would you had if you multiply yourself by four. If you had four groups of yourself, how many heads would you have? Well, how many heads do we have? We have one, and if I multiply it by four, I'd have one head, two head, three, four heads. I'd have four heads. Okay, what about your fingers and your thumb? If I could multiply myself by four, how many fingers would I have? Well, how many fingers do I have right now? I have 10. And if I want to multiply myself, so there's four of me, well, the first me has 10. The second me has another 10, which is 20. Third me would have 30. And four of me would have 40. I count by 10 four times. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. What about if I did, let me erase these, six times two. What if I told you I had six oranges and I had two groups of them? Six times two. Well, the times two I can think of as six plus six. So two groups of six equals 12, okay? And that's where all of our math facts that we do at the start of each math class is helping us to practice these, okay? Now I want you to open up in your textbook to page 78, okay? So open up in your textbook to page 78, okay? And on here, we're going to see some mushrooms, okay? Now, how many mushroom, how many groups are there of mushrooms? Well, we can see that there's three groups. How many mushrooms are in each group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven in each group. So how many mushrooms would I have? Well, let's think of seven, and another seven is? 14, and then can we add seven more after 14? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, right, 21. 
Again, I could write that there's seven mushrooms times three groups, and that's gonna give me the same answer. Remember, multiplying, I can flip the numbers. Same answer, 21, okay? Then we have another question, question B, okay? How many do we have in each blue circle there? How many do you see in each blue circle? Nine in each blue circle. And how many blue circles do I have? Four. Nine times four. Okay, so I can count by nines. I can go nine. I could go 18. What's another nine after 18? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now let's do another nine after 27. Now, if you remember our mental math, you could add 10 and then take back one. So if we're at 27, another nine, let's pretend we're adding 10. So 37, but we didn't really have 10, we had nine, so 36. Okay, think of that when you do the nines, is that we could add another 10 and then you just take back one. That's much easier to keep adding 10 to a number, right? Okay, or we can count up by, right? We could count four nine times. We can do that, right? So we could go four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and 36, okay? So that is what multiplying is, and we see it in our world that God made all around that we see multiplication. It helps us instead of keep adding and adding and adding that when we multiply, it is quicker to know how many total that we have. In your workbook today, you are going to do exercise 32, and exercise 32 is one page and two pages. So I'm going to ask you to finish those two pages for today. See you next time.